Yeah, hi everyone, James Tennant again. So, sorry it's been a little while since I've done a video. I've been waiting on some stuff to come out, which seems to be taking a while, some stuff on the App Store and whatnot. So, anyway, uh, I thought I'd just do a quick little video today, uh, and just a video on how to get access to your past versions of a file. So, uh, it's one of the big um, selling points of Vault that you can get access to previous versions. Um, but a lot of people ask me how to, so what I'll do today is I'll show you how to get access to a previous version of a file. In my case, I'm going to be using Inventor, and I'll just uh, just jump up to my preview pane so I can see exactly those um, that history of that file there. You can see the file that I've got selected there, and I've got probably four versions of the file, starting with something pretty simple, moving to, well, something pretty simple still, but you get the idea. So let's say we wanted to revert back to this first version of the file. Uh, what I need to do, I need to actually go and tell Vault that I want to get this version of the file. So it's a pretty straightforward process. Just right click on the version of the file that you wanted to get access to. So right click and choose the get button. Now you could go and select the checkout button there, but you would actually notice that it would do nothing. There's nothing ticked or anything there. You can't actually um, check out a previous version of the document and that's a bit of a safety feature built in so to get around that I go and get as in download the latest version of this file as I do this my status icon here will change and show me that I've got um, an older version of the document on my on my hard drive uh, yes it will override it and you can see now I have a previous version and that's what it's telling me there. So now what I want to do is I want to actually check out this version. So this is a historical version of the of the file. I want to check it out. So to do that, I right click on it and choose the check out button. This time I can click the check out and you can see it is ticked. However, what I want to avoid is it downloading the latest version, which is what it does by default. You can actually see down the bottom here, it's telling me it's going to check out one and it's going to download one. So what I want to do is I want to change that to zero, nothing so that it is, it's checking it out, but it's not downloading it. So when I go OK on that, you can now see that it is uh, checked out, which is great. Uh, it is still working on a historical version of it. So let's go ahead and open up that one from my C drive. There it is there. You can see this is the previous version. Let's go ahead and just make a minor change to it. Once I've done with that, hit save. Uh, you'll see my status icon now turns to something a bit better. Check it in. And what I've now got in my history is still have this version here, but I've got a copy of this version at the top with a slot in it. So that's how I revert back to previous versions and take it from there. The same thing goes with assemblies and whatnot as well. Uh, so if I was to click on this version of an assembly, it would take me back to all the historical versions of that of the documents referenced into that assembly. So that's uh, that's how to do it. Hope that was helpful. Thanks, guys.